Hello again and welcome back. On this one, we're going to show you how to catch Spanish mackerel. I'm going to show you the rig we use. I'm going to show you how we fish it. I'm going to show you catching fish. Guys, everything you need to make this rig is going to be linked in the description below. You can find it at your local tackle shops. You can buy it online. It doesn't really matter. Pretty easy to make. Really easy to fish. And when you get into them, you'll catch a bunch. So let's start with the rig. Here's everything you need for your rig. You're going to need some Clark or some drone spoons. You can use plain silver, plain gold, or different flashes. We like the yellow flash, the red flash, burgundy flash. This is a rig all the way made up with a planer board, a spoon, 20 feet of fluorocarbon, a little itty bitty swivel, and a swivel, bunch of swivels on the end where it connects to the board. What's very important is 20 pound fluorocarbon. You want to use fluorocarbon and 20 pounds because you need something to take the shock when these fish hit without breaking and it needs to be invisible. Spanish are very, very tackle shy. You want to use several different rigs. You want to use a rig with an inline sinker. This is just a one ounce. We typically we use a four ounce way back. That's close to the surface. Then we use a number one planer board. This runs about 12 feet to 13 feet deep, give or take, uh, depending on how far back you run it. And how this works, the line comes off the back of this out to your spoon. This runs up here and attaches to your fishing pole. When the fish hits, it triggers like this, and instead of diving, it brings the fish up to the surface so you can reel them in without fighting the board. Very important. The number one and the number two, these run about 20 to 25 feet deep, and you want one of these for deeper fish. Same thing, it pulls real hard, you need a heavy rod. It runs like that with a line going to the spoon off of here and then when the fish hits it releases and comes up to the surface. This is how you tie this rig up. This is going to be your planer board right here. This is your line to your rod attaching to the ring with a snap swivel, then draw it. Off the planer board, off of this part right here, you tie four to six or snap on four to six snap swivels. This rig develops a ton of twists and you need to take care of them somewhere. The best place is here. Then you need a long piece of line about 15 feet to your little tiny swivel here. The little tiny swivel takes care of a lot of the twist up near the spoon, but Spanish are very tackle shy, so you can't have really anything at the spoon. So off my tiny swivel, I go about another six to eight feet. I'm looking at about 20 feet or more total from the planer board to the spoon. You can run it 15 feet, you won't catch near as much Spanish. And if you run it shorter than that, you can forget it. And I'm sure I'll get some guys telling me, I run mine shorter and I catch plenty of, plenty of Spanish. Well, we catch more, so do it this way. Run 20 feet between your, your planer board and your spoon. Tie the spoon direct. There's a little swivel on the front of a Clark spoon. On your drones, they just have a little ring on them. Tie them directly. It'll work a lot better. You'll catch a lot more fish. That's the way you tie this rig. Now remember, I'll put links to all the components in the description below. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. The next thing you need to know about Spanish mackerel fishing, we're trolling for these fish, and they like things fast. So you're going to have to speed up and go much faster than you ever thought. Between six knots and about seven and a half knots, basically between about seven miles an hour and about eight and a half, nine miles an hour, is where these fish want to be. If you're catching more bluefish in Spanish, speed up until you stop catching bluefish. If you're not catching fish, speed up. If you get to about 10 miles an hour and you're not catching fish, okay, fine, slow back down. So that's it for part one, how to tie the rigs for trolling for Spanish mackerel. We're covering three different water depths. You can run extra lines and just stagger them if you want, but you really don't need to. You'll catch a lot when you get in them. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Part two is coming up where we fish a tournament, catch a ton of Spanish mackerel, and it's a lot of fun. Make sure you share this video with your friends on social media. Stay tuned for part two. Give me that thumbs up like button. We'll see you next time.